I've had the Samsung Galaxy A12 over the last three days and my initial impressions were, oh, nice design, great cameras, and man, Infinity V display design, it feels like 2019. What is up guys, Izzy here and welcome to the channel. So 2021 is already up and running and we already have the Samsung Galaxy A12 as the first available in Samsung's new generation of A-series devices for the year 2021. This is supposedly an upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy A11, but some fans might find it a little disappointing at the use of an Infinity V display as opposed to a left hole punch as we've gotten used to from the year 2020, but I guess that can be overlooked. The Samsung Galaxy A12 should be priced around $170. I picked this up for 67,000 Naira here in Nigeria, and at that price, you are getting the 4 gig version with 64 gigs of storage, a MediaTek Helio P35 processor, 48 megapixel quad rear cameras, 5000 milliamps per hour battery, and other specifications we'll cover as the video progresses. At this point, a sub to the channel will be perfect. The Samsung Galaxy A12 comes in the same box common with the A series and standard accessories. There is a 15 watt charging brick, a USB C cable, and earphones. No print store screen protector, no protective casing either. The design of the Samsung Galaxy A12 is very different from previous generation of A-series devices. The rear cameras are now placed in a square bump with the flash just underneath the bump. The rear design is divided in two unequal sections, with the top part having this nice striped pattern which makes for easy grip, really convenient to hold. The bottom part is smooth and is more of a matte finish. It is a plastic build. The fingerprint scanner this time is side mounted and on the power button, next to the volume rocker keys. It is easily reachable and quite responsive. You should have no problems unlocking the device. The Samsung Galaxy A12 still retains the headphone jack placed at the bottom of the device, alongside the USB-C port which supports 15 watts fast charging. You also have a button firing mono speaker which is not really loud. It sounds good though but I'd say it's below average when it comes to loudness. The A12 accepts dual nano SIM cards and also has a slot for expandable storage. The display on the Samsung Galaxy A12 is TFT with a resolution of 720 by 1600 and a pixel density of 264 pixels per inch. It is 6.5 inches and it has a water drop notch for its selfie camera or Infinity V as Samsung would like to call it. Personally, I would have preferred the left hole punch design from the Samsung Galaxy A11. It does just okay for media consumption though and I'd say the display quality is just fine and exactly what you'd expect from the TFT display. On regular usage that is running your regular applications and multitasking, the Samsung Galaxy A12 holds up just fine and you should have no problems. It runs Android 10 out of the box and One UI 2.5. Minimal bloatware and fine user experience. Not sure how soon but this should get Android 11. The MediaTek Helio P35 processor on the A12 does its job quite well even though it doesn't have the best benchmark scores, especially when compared to other devices in this price range with reference to the Nokia 3.4, the Infinix Note 8i, and the Redmi 9. When it comes to gaming, I'll say the Samsung Galaxy A12 falls short. Don't get me wrong though, games will work fine. The likes of PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile will work smoothly and mostly lag-free. However, you can only play at the minimum settings, that is low graphics settings. This can be a deal breaker for the gaming enthusiast. The Samsung Galaxy A12, however, has an impressive 5000 mAh battery and it can guarantee up to at least 8 hours of screen on time. That is pretty impressive. The 15 watts charger that comes in the box can power it from 0 to 100 in about 2 hours. Pretty cool for a 5000 mAh battery. While the A12 might not be as good as the competition when it comes to gaming, there is one area where it should excel and that is the cameras. This is an area where Samsung seems to have prioritized on this device. It is equipped with a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup, which includes a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro, and depth sensor. It takes good photos with decent dynamic range. While using the main camera, if your subject is close enough, you can get the blur effects just like portrait mode without needing to use live focus. The default photo mode is about 16 megapixel, and you can select the high res 48 megapixel mode to get more crisp shots that you can crop in on. The ultra wide camera does its job quite well. It has a 123 degrees field of view and can allow more into your shots. The Samsung Galaxy A12 also does pretty well with indoor shots. However, it does not have a dedicated night mode, so no nighttime photography. The macro camera is just 2 megapixels and you can't really have high expectations. 
but I think it gets the job done. The selfie camera is 8 megapixels and it does a decent job of capturing selfies both on regular and portrait modes. You be the judge. What do you think of the photos from the Samsung Galaxy A12? On video, it can shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second with no form of stabilization. The Samsung Galaxy A12 has just 8 megapixel selfie camera which is able to shoot 1080p full HD videos at 30 frames per second. It can also do so from the 48 megapixel main camera on the rear. Let me know what you think about the quality. The Samsung Galaxy A12 can be considered a reasonable upgrade to the A11 with improved cameras, improved battery life, more RAM and memory. Also you could say improved processor though deficient when it comes to gaming in comparison with the competition. And some of us would have preferred a left hole point display to an Infinity V design. I do have to use this for a couple more days, weeks maybe, to see just how well it continues to hold up with overall performance and battery life. So expect another review and probably comparison with the Nokia 3.4. Do leave a like if you find this video helpful and also if you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Peace.